Hey guys, just got a bit of a siren controller update for you. Um, I had a bit of a rude awakening last night at about 2 a.m. So the Gallagher uh, controller that's directly responsible for running the VSD in here uh, did an unexpected controller restart. This is because the memory buffer filled up. I'm not exactly sure why the memory buffer's going crazy on it. I think it might be because of the amount of overrides I'm doing in Home Assistant. It doesn't happen often, maybe twice a year, but uh, long story short, it caused the siren to uh, go up for 8 seconds at 2 a.m., which was not great. I kind of foresaw this coming. I knew it wasn't the most reliable controller out there. Um, it's pretty good, but for a situation like this, it's not the best. So if we go inside here, what I've done is I've added a PLC here. And this has taken away the control directly from the controller and it's putting it now through this PLC. By doing this, it allows me to set parameters on here. So what I've done, if we go into the programming here, is I've set up a one-shot timer using counters. So even if the input glitches out uh, on the input side of the PLC, it will not keep running the siren, which is another another concern that I had. Um, and it's also allowed me to run schedules here. Also, if we go to stop the controller here, and then we'll go into our configuration for timer one, you can see I have now set up the pulsing inside the PLC itself. Before I was using Home Assistant to define the on and off times for the siren. Uh, and what could possibly happen is if the automation was to fail or the controller was like, if Home Assistant was to reset halfway through the automation, it would mean that the siren controller would just stay on, which is not ideal. And uh, figured I'd fix this up now before it became a, a bigger issue. So last night was a bit of a wake up call. So yeah, this now does all of the timing for the VSD and after 10 or after 8 p.m., um, even if there's an input to the PLC, it will not run up the VSD. So there is still a failure point. Potentially the PLC could glitch out or the VSD itself could glitch out, but it, it's very unlikely. Um, and if that did happen, there is a manual isolator on the side here. So let's give it a run up now and um, make sure that it's all, all working how it should. So here's the siren here, it's doing well up here. It's um, it's staying pretty good. There are a couple of small spots of rust that I'd like to uh, repaint at some point, but uh, it's just where the paint was a little thin. So overall it's in really good condition. And let's run this automation. So here's my main phone here. So, and the automation fins uh, external alert. Run that. And here we go. So that about sums it up. It's uh, a bit of a shame that I can't define the on time and off time separately of the timer. So it's just 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, uh, which means that it kind of doesn't have time to wind down fully before it starts up again. So it doesn't quite sound like the station sirens, but uh, that is something I may take a look at in the future with a different PLC that has more capabilities. For now, it's pretty good. And the other um, thing I've done is I've just changed the maximum speed to 7 hertz. So even if it was to glitch out, it's not going to go absolutely AWOL. Um, so yeah, just a couple of improvements and figured I'd share it. Hope you enjoyed and catch you next time.